Hey guys, Sparingprey here, and welcome to the 27th episode of my Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 as Japan. I'm pretty sure it's 27, I'm not absolutely certain though, so please do not yell at me if I did get it wrong. I'm kind of curious now that we can actually see this entire map. What exactly is this part? Oh, that's Peru, apparently. Okay, well, you know, what really matters is this big old Mexico trade node. Uh, if we can get most of the control over that, I'd be really happy. But uh, I think this is going to get taken by the uh, the British. Or, well, rather the English West Indies. So, basically the British. We got some, uh, some men over here that are dying. Oh, they're on the boats here. Oh yeah, they're coming. Okay, so I was like, whoa, wait, they're dying? Why? Uh, okay, oh, and we also finished off those, uh, those rebels that were there. So let's, uh, okay, I think we need to wait a day. All right, there we go. Now they're finished. Now we can take them over to Gyeongsang, and they can both, uh, they can watch the, uh, the rebels that are supposedly going to spawn there. Why are we losing money? Why? What did I do to deserve this? I, all I want is to make one, or just make money. I don't want to make, like, I just don't want to be losing money and going into debt. That's my only thing. I mean, we can always shred one of these guys. Like, for instance, this plus two guy, that might be a good idea. Because, you know, these plus three, plus ones are okay. But we, we the admin is our weakest point. So I think it's actually nice having that along here. I mean, we're not going to be making any more army right now. But, you know, for... For a little bit at least, we're going to try to do this. But I, what I really wish is that instead of just conquering as much as I did with Jap as Japanico, you know, trying to kill, get them land, I wish that they I colonize a little bit more. So that's why I'm trying to colonize here. And hopefully my uh, my ships will make it over here and dock up and give me the, and not have more rebels spawn. That would suck. So good. We won the Battle of Pensacola. We're going back to the center of the country over here. We have a gazillion nationalists up here that we're just going to let them flip that back to Choctaw. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. We got a bunch of colonies going. I think that might actually be the issue. Are we paying too much for colonies? No, we only have one colony right now and we're still losing money. Alright, so I think we might want to just kick out that guy. Well, let's see. Actually, we can work it out. We can work out how much we're going to need because... Okay, so for instance, okay, so we're getting all this money, right? All right, and then how much do we make per month? Minus two, we make three per month. Oh God, that's. I, I think we should hold on to this guy as much as we can until we start actually needing to fund our army a little bit more. I think we should just save money up. Oh crap! I think I just kicked him out. Damn it. Oh well, it's okay. We can now fund our army at full, and we're gonna get a bunch of money. That's fine because we can now start actually building some of these buildings. And maybe we can actually build some more units. Damn it. It's okay, though. It's not the end of the world. Alright, let's build some temples, yo. Temple, temple. No, we only built two. So poor. But look at this, it's like 45. Oh, wow, that's actually not so bad. Let's get this guy. 48 is not bad at all. For plus one, that's like so good. You know, I mean, look at the difference in cost. It's like, that is a exponential increase of, you know, exponent of two for how much more expensive one more point is than, you know, one. So I think we're definitely going to just grab this guy, snatch him up real quick, and we're going to have a super crew now pumping out points for us. Good. So that should not even be an issue. Yay! All right, well, we need to somehow get a little bit of troops. All right, let's send some over. Let's send some 3,000 to the other group, just so that we have a little bit of an even... 50 admin or 10 prestige. This is a prestige. We have a buttload of prestige right now. We don't need that much. We don't need to be having all that prestige. How's Manchuria? We need to keep improving relations over here as soon as they start losing those. Yeah, we're getting pretty high on relation over here, so I'm pretty... I'm happy about that. Kind of sucks that they got that random, you know, debuff to us for, like, no reason, but, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Only a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, as you see here, we're not able to tech up anymore in, in military tech or admin tech. And that's because, of course, our power is being sucked away to finish our westernization. Which is very important, by the way. I mean, like, why? what else am I going to do? Alright, well, we probably want it. Russia's already been improved, so... I can't... How do they not know of us? We're friends, yo. Hey, buddy. I guess they just don't share a border with us, so they can't really see us. But it's okay. We're probably going to want to break our alliance... 
with the Oriet Horde because you know the Oriet Horde is not going to be very helpful against where they're going to probably just get us dragged into a war with Russia. I would love, 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 love for people to know about me. Neutral attitudes over here. I don't know who's going to be really helpful at all. I, oh, and I also think it's really funny that Great Britain is like so distraught over here. I don't think that like I, this is another reason why I don't think they're going to be an issue. And then of course I would love. Ooh, they're in a war against Sweden and against Commonwealth. Ooh, nice. Let's see, how's their actual army doing now? I know I had to scroll down for them last time, but wow, we're we really having to scroll down. Oh, it's because it's by... I think it's not... Oh, who is it? Where the frick are they? I remember they had like 29. Russia, Russia, Russia. I, I think the flag pack like got an upgrade or something, so now all the flags are a little bit different, so it's kind of hard for me to tell. I kind of don't like it. I kind of want to go back to normal. Wow, are we going to have to put it on freaking alphabetical? H I J K L M N O P Q R S. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Q R S T. Russia. Russia has 60 grand. How do they not how are they not winning these wars? Are they winning these wars? Oh, they actually are. <laughs> Lol. They're fighting against two Russia Lithuanian order Pomerania. Oh, well, that was a sh stupid ass time to attack them, wasn't it? Didn't really work out for you, did it, huh? Well, it looks like Denmark. Did they lose their personal union? Norway is a union under Sweden. Oh, interesting. Interesting, because they have all these colonies over here. Maybe we could go steal them. That might be a good idea. It's not like Sweden's going to come over and hurt us. But, you know, right now we're westernizing, so we really need to focus. Focus. Focus on westernizing. And getting monies. More monies. Uh, ignore their demands. Yeah, forget them. What? Are they going to, like, revolt or something? <laughs> you can never have too much grain. Halt westernization. Handle them. Harsh treatment. Eat the boot, bitch. I mean, I could just boost ability, but I think that the, the military power was a little bit easier to spend, and it didn't... It'll be fine, 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 fine. Uh, we could go to war with Oriad Horde to try to turn those things to Manchur, but I think we're going to have plenty of time after we've westernized. I don't think we need to wait to need to wage any wars before we westernize, because we having those western troops is going to be invaluable, especially when our neighbors have 11 military power compared to our 8. Yeah, we, we need to uh, we need to finish this first, which is going to be a, tr a struggle. Oh man, and I almost completely forgot about these guys over here. Let's get those troops over there into the Shawnee so that we can uh, defend. All right, ooh, wow, unruly samurai. They seem useful or punishment. Ooh, let's get the admin power because that's going to be our weakest one. We're getting sucked more of that away, or well, we're lower in that regard. And we're building temples, so it's kind of nice that we can build temples now, because, you know, we did get those that little boost. Those temples are going to help us get more tax, which is really good. Taxes, our taxation is not so bad. It's our biggest thing, you know? Pretty sure that's how it normally is, but hey, we're special. Wow, 49,000 guys over there. That's hilarious. Whoa, hello. Totemism zealots, where the frick did you... Didn't we kill you? Did we kill... Are they, like... How did this even happen? That was like instant siege or something. Whatever. Are we taking attrition because we have too many troops? That's fine with me. I mean, we'll just send in half troops, but uh, who's disputed, by the way? All right, we're fine. I wonder how the wars are going. Let's see. Can we actually look in the... There's a ledger page, right, that has wars? Yeah, current wars. So there's the Ottomans, and then Sweden and Norway versus Russia. And then there's Commonwealth, Brandenburg, and Thuringia versus Russia. Riga. Pomerania is in that war for some reason. Turnids are fighting against a lot of Delhi. It looks like um, both of Russia's wars are going semi-okay. They're actually doing really well against the Commonwealth. Interesting. 
I, I just don't understand how this got sieged. Like, is there, like, what? What happened? <laughs> Where did they come from? There's three holes in the wall? I don't want to risk sieging, uh, risk assaulting it. I think it's just stupid. Why don't we just... We can just bide our time. We can wait there all... They can have that thing all day if they desire. I'm just glad that we got Japanifornia. Japanifornia in its glorious nature. So Choctaw, I guess they moved near us. Oh, good. Did they finally, um... Did they finally flip their thingy that they wanted so badly? So our explorer is kind of just useless. Let's have him go in a... Oh, did we lose? Did he die? Yeah, wow. He actually died. Interesting. Well, that's okay. That just means we have one less guy that we need. Because we only can have one leader, really, anyways. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Muskogee. Yay! Okay, we unseeged that. I don't even know how that got sieged. I wish we could get a good dispute succession. Well, I mean, I guess I'm kind of whining. Because we did get a great one with Manchuria. We're about to run out of military and diplo power, which kind of sucks because we're kind of really not even halfway done. Mm. Well, you know, it's going to be slow, but... <sighs> it sucks. Maybe we'll get some more things. Okay. Let's see. Can we improve relations with anybody important? How about we improve relations with Russia? Because, you know, we're getting a little bit low. Just make them love us. It's too bad that all these people are just, you know, denying that we exist. I wonder why the Ottomans haven't made it a point to take, uh... Oh, they actually are taking, probably gonna take Judea soon. Do they have claim on it? Yeah, they do. Bye-bye, Mamluks. <laughs> Poor Mamluks, look at that. They got, like, a little bit of territory up here that's just like, uh, what are we doing with this? We don't know. Alright, let's see. Can we, we should probably build a few more, uh, either... Ooh, whoa. Integrating Shun. Yay, we did it. Alright, we got our mission as well. And the Oriat Horde broke their alliance with us. Ooh, no, not the Oriat Horde. Their oh, we really love that alliance. Yeah, I don't care about you, Oriat Horde. Whatever. We're going to wreck you. How many troops do we have? We have ooh, too many. One too many. Two too many. It's not so bad. Now how much army do we have? Let's check this stuff out. Wow, look at that. We have over 100,000 troops. That's pretty sick. But you know we do have crappy tech, so that's that's our downfall. Is that we have the uh, the uh, best, biggest army with the shittiest tech. We're like freaking Ming. All right, so let's see. How much is that? Is that costing us much to be over the limit? Because I don't really want to. Yeah, it's only 0.8 ducats. It's fine. Let's stay over the limit then. All right. Do do do. All right. Oh, we need a mission. All right. Uh, can we incorporate Z? Yes, let's do that. And what's our missions? Turn Malscargo into a city, repair relations with Great Britain. We're never going to get to 50, I don't think. Claim our rivals, province Hangzhou. What will this give us? 25 military power? Certainly. We have to wait a few days for a guy to come back, and then we can just claim Hangzhou. I don't think we have any aggressive expansion, honestly. Let me see. I mean, we need to claim that anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Oh, looks, we've we've accepted Han. That's nice. That we already did accept them. I'm pretty sure. Isn't um. Yeah, Cantonese is in the East Asian group, so we actually have a wide swath of cultures that we can actually accept. It's very interesting and nice to see as Japan. All that green. Right? No. Where's the accepted? That's just culture map mode. Where's the accepted cultures map mode? It looks very similar. There we go. As you see here, the blue, all this stuff is accepted. So we can pretty much take over the entirety of these China here and stuff and, and not even have to worry about converting it culturally. We don't have to, which is very nice. Anyways, Cantonese is even part of our... Yeah, wow. So Japanese, of course, but Cantonese is in the same culture group, and then Han is even accepted, so I don't even, I guess that's a little better. Do we have any Mongol culture? No. Wow. Well, uh, the I can't believe the Oriats broke their alliance with us. How much, how many forces, okay, they're allied with Shan, T 
Tibet and Koch. So Shan, Tibet, and Koch. So those guys would probably all fight us. But we do have Z. I wish Zhou would not be so mean to us. We would love to be friends with you, Zhou. But it's fine. We'll just use your anger against us to give us cause to kill you later. Let's see. Climbing them, blah, blah, blah. This is all tropical, right? Oh, God. Yeah, we want to focus mainly on the top here where it's easy to colonize. And that's probably why nobody's colonized in the south. And then we're terrible in tech. We're so terrible. Look at that. Like, we're like the worst tech besides, like, Fungi. And the, I, be, I think the Native Americans are better. Yeah, Creek have better tech than us. Look at this. Oh, that's New Pork Trail. The Creek are military tell wealth. And they're, oh, they're feudal monarchy, so they've reformed their government. Let's see, is there anybody over here who's as bad as us? The Apache, <laughs> they're pretty bad. But, because they're still, oh, they're feudal monarchy, though. Where's, is there anybody who's, like, completely, they're still, they're despotic monarchy. Where's there, like, a Cree? Native Council, there we go. Russia, 100. Okay, so we're gonna get that guy back. We can probably send him somewhere else. Who's gonna, who's gonna be a good idea? Probably not Commonwealth, because they're getting wrecked right now in this war. Minus 35%. How's Sweden doing? Minus 16%. Damn, Russia. So who's gonna be a good ally? I don't know, maybe the Ottomans? Is Crimea anybody's bitch? No? Really weird. Knowledge is power, or lose prestige? Let's get this revolt risk, so, because who cares? Japanese reactionaries. Let's how you handle these bitches. Oh, well, that's a lot of harsh treatments. How much will stability... Well, we don't want to do that, because we're going to need all the points we can. Yeah, we definitely are not going to let them hold our westernization. Emperor, we have finally converted the heretics. Yay! Look at that. Look at how cheap it is to convert these guys. Let's do that. All we need... I think we might we might even consider doing religious ideas after after those defensive ideas, because not only... That'll be just great. Why we, oh, probably because we're over. Yeah, whatever. Understandable. Let's drop the military, because we're going to get a little bit more money from the, uh... Oh, hey, look, they're taking it, Z's taking out these rebels for us. Thanks, but no thanks, Z, you're terrible. Ah, uh, ignore their demands. A revolt, oh no. Alright, well, let's just transport some men across the sea here. We got a colonial conquest against some new native tribe. That's cool with me. Let's drop these guys off. And then uh, we'll have them just start walking. 10,000 actually should be plenty. To take out those guys, I'm pretty sure. So, But if, you know what? Let's just take our boats over there with them. Just to, you know, be absolutely sure. We might as well take over our entire army. Because that would be the last thing that we want. Alright, we got some more rebels going on here. This is where it kind of gets a little shitty. I remember this. This is where... Like, what's the sad part was? Is that this was our... It was already bad. And then this started happening in my last... In my Let's Play. In my, uh, you know, playthrough that you guys didn't get to see, sadly. And then it was just like, oh, man. Really? <laughs> like, that's, uh, that's how I felt the whole time. Alright, so we won this battle, clearly. Right, let's get these guys over there. Oh, actually, here. You guys stay there. We're, we're going to take you up north. Let's drop them off here to kill these guys in the Krillius. But, you know, once they revolt, that's they're done. They can't revolt for a little bit. You know, they got, they got a little bit of period where you might not have the revolt, which is nice. Why is everything so goddamn expensive? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, reinforcement. Oh, okay, okay. So, bigger bigger army, or I think we should get more base tax. I like that base tax. Yay, Navy tradition! Because I'm pretty sure we're zero for zero on everything. Yeah, two and four. 
That's sad. Well, at least we won the Curlius battle here. Let's get these guys back over here. And we'll just transport from right there because it's really close. We killed off all their rebels. Yay. Let's, uh... Split this guy up. We're gonna, we don't want him to take attrition. Not that he was gonna, but you know. Our emperor has been formed that he has been discovered. Oh no! We've got so much aggressive expansion. Sorry, not that. I want to see this. Yeah, Joe hates the shit on us. Russia's kind of like, eh. Oh really? They rivaled us as soon as they saw us. They were like, we're rivals. Dun, dun, dun. Cause you're colonized next to my colonized. Claim our rivals province, good. All right, whatever. We're not gonna go to war, duh. Conqueror, no. Spread our culture to Luxoy. Repair. World. Can we get up to fifty with Great Britain? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Why is everybody rivaling us? It's like seriously, we're just you know barely starting to try to westernize, and you're gonna f try to fuck us up already. God, can't you leave me alone for like five minutes? Oh well. Let's try to build some diplomatic buildings. Let's build some that'll increase uh, trade power. Trade power, trade power, trade power, trade power, trade power, trade power. I think we only have the one. We'll see, let's see. Marketplace. Yeah, the marketplace is going to be way better. So, anything in the Nippon region, we're going to want to build. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah, we have some crappy ass missions right here. We got another revolt. It's fine. I think we'll just leave half the army and half the army because it looks like it's pretty easy to just, you know. Come on, there we go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Japan. Let's go kill all the rebels. <laughs> let's go, because this is this is basically our 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 deal. Could you imagine if we had Christian Christian rebels going on now? That'd be even like, oh god, my my life, why me? <laughs> Why am I chosen to suffer? That's what I would feel like if we had Christian revels going on right now. Conquer human? What the frick is human? Is this the thing? It's trying to get me to fight here? <laughs> well, whatever. We'll just let Russia colonize all this shit and then we'll go fight them later on you know, when we have more power and then we'll f just take that crap from them. Go ahead and kill the rebels. Kill all the rebels. Rebel scum. Let's go and check on our friend Japanico. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Well, at least he's got an army now. And I really hope that we win. I'm gonna cry if we lose. A revolt in Taiwan. In tier one. Looks like we got their navy as well. Are we over a navy force limit? No, sadly. Let's go combine these sh these troop transports or whatever. Here, we're gonna get into this harbor here because that's where our army is already. We need to be careful because these rebels are really, really pissed off and they will... Oh look, they cord it! Oh my god, yay! <laughs> they cord something. I'm so proud of you. Are they working on it over here? Well, at least we're not dying to the rebels, thank god. We might die to them over here. It looks like we had some couple bad rolls or something. It's gonna be a shitty day, yeah. I am pissed. Why are we losing so much money? I don't understand. Do we like? Oh, it's probably because we got a couple things that are how it should are cropping up our taxes. Maybe. No. This is pretty dope. What we got going on here? Maybe we lost something that was helping us. I know if we boosted our stability, it would help. But we really need those points. As you see, we're just barely almost fifty percent. Where can we save skimp a little bit besides our army? I'm just trying to think. 
I mean, it's not the end of the world if we have to take a loan, but it will be like the end of the world, I think, actually. Never mind. <laughs> um, how's, how's Z, or Manchu, rather, thinking about us? Still stupid. It's fine, we'll integrate you, bitch. <laughs> hate you. My ports are blockaded. Ding, pirates of the freaking Caribbean over here. Don't they know they're supposed to be over here in Americas, where the Caribbean actually is? Not, not in my goddamn colonies. All right, well, let's just go, and then we'll just return over here. I'm going to try to m merge up these guys. I'm going to ignore their demands. Duh. All right, and uh, let's get these guys in the boats. And take them down to Taiwan. And then these guys are going to go right after them, because the boats just got there for those guys. So... They shouldn't be too far behind. Alright, um... I'm good, we're fighting those guys up there too. Sweet! Works out perfectly. Good, we're cutting down all the rebels, which is really important. So we're gonna lose money now. Yeah, looks like we took out a loan. Yes, we're not going to build any freaking buildings. Maybe that's what we should do. Oop. I know we're only getting 50% back, but hey, you know what? We're going to get... We're not getting any of our points back, but whatever. We can pay off our stupid loan that we just got, and it'll last us a little bit longer. Oh, and did one of our... I guess our colony finished? Yep, Japanifornia got this colony. Let's send a guy here. Oh, sh I knew I, I know what I did, didn't I? Oh, I'm so stupid. Can you make money now, please? <laughs> it's the reinforcements that are killing us. Oh well. With these two armies combined, we should be able to rick just raffle stomp anybody, so I'm not gonna cry. Right. Well, we got a lot of men here, so we're clearly going to take a lot of attrition. Alright, let's kill these morons. We left two grand of troops behind. There should be plenty to deal with whatever they want to deal, they want to do. Right, let's not let's let's regain our morale here a little bit. Uh, where are they going to Mohawk? Okay, so of course they're going to reinforce the uh, bastards. Well, let's lose some money for now, and we'll just as long as we get our morale up, we we'll, should be able to just destroy these horrible, horrible totems themselves. <laughs> How do they convert this to Shinto? Oh well, you know, at least they're doing something. You know, it's nice to see that they're doing something. <laughs> Are they trying to convert this one? I don't really see any guys, but you know, in the new world, it's really easy for them to just get hidden inside like one of the mountains or something like that. I think. Oh, I mean, at least we do see them getting cores. You know, like right here. New governor in New Japan. <laughs> That's a lot of new. Let's lose the prestige. I mean, we're losing a lot of prestige, but it's okay. All we gotta do is westernize. It'll be all good. Good, we beat those pirates. Those dang stinky things. Oh, these guys are already... Oh, what the hell did I do? Alright, you guys can go home now then, I guess, because... Yes. Good, good work. Alright, now you men go kill those moronic... Totemism, totem loving, totem buttholes. <sighs> Hate you, totems. You and your dang totems. Where are you running now? You're running to Ohio. Seriously? I want to play freaking uh, find ring around the rosy with this guy? I hope we get there before the. Nope, not gonna get there before the end of the month. Not even before the end of the year. Oh well. Our uh, annexation process of Z is almost 20%. That's pretty good. They'll be gone soon. Which is nice. 
How long do these Ming cores last? Yeah, they got another 50 years. Most, most of them? Yeah. It looks like they got about 50 years still on them. Alright, so Manchu, why do you hate me? I would send you a gift, but I think I'd be wasted. Yeah, 20 f for 3? Serious? Sirs? It's too bad we already have um, everything done with them. I mean, we just kind of have to wait for that stupid union and only a name thing to go away, and then we can start the process. But, you know, it's kind of nice because we're going to want to go to war with the Oriat Horde, anyways. How much? How many troops does the Oriat got, anyway? Are they at war or something? I must have missed them. Let's look by name. Elemen. Oh. The Riot Horde has 46,000. That's going to be pretty impressive. But we're pretty good as well. Let's get a diplomatic candidate because I really want them to get diplomatic ideas and diplomatically diplomate the colonies all over the freaking place. Please. Please colonize for yourself. Thank Jesus Christ. Alright, kill them all. Alright, we're at full. Oh god, more freaking rebels. Oh, Jesus. Alright, come on, kill them. Let's go ahead and grab a, uh, a conquistador. Just put him in there. We just needed somebody. I mean, I was gonna put my king, but, you know, we kinda want him to not die. Alright, he kinda has a point. Yeah, we wanna keep him, because if he dies, then we're screwed. Alright, let's just go around here. We'll send some troops in there. Just because we don't want to take any any more attrition or anything like that. That's bad. It's Shawnee. Alright, we need to kill. We need to kill. We need to kill these bastards here. Before they freaking... Oh god, they're already 14%. That's really pissing me off. Alright, so not you. Both go and attack. Attack formation! I really wish we could get a not shitty mission. It's like my dream right now. Well, you know, since um, since Russia has decided to rival us, we might as well rival them back. Because now we should be starting to get some enemy of enemy with the uh, Commonwealth, and maybe there's maybe there's a worthwhile alliance here. I don't really even see, I don't even see a worthwhile alliance besides maybe who do we want? My God, maybe we should look at the ledger. The Ottomans are actually quite fierce. Who do they hate? Commonwealth? Mamluks? Let's put the Mamluks in there and see if we can't get something going with the Ottomans. I mean, we got a free diplomat, we might as well. I mean, how far are we down? We're only minus 25 because we're a competing great power, apparently. So I guess we just lost the rest of our admin power. Sh shit. <laughs> Bye bye, admin power. It was nice knowing you. Wow, Portugal's already over here. Are they gonna start colonizing my islands down here? And yes, these are my islands. I demand control of them. But, you know, like I said, even if they do colonize, we'll just go to war with them and steal them back. Alright, well, that's gonna about do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We uh, are gonna have to fight these god dang rebels again. Alright. Are we gonna take damage here? Alright, we're gonna figure out how to... Here, why don't we do this? Okay, now we actually consolidated regiments. And we'll leave behind the weakest. So that's... how many? 27? Alright, that should be fine. Let's kill these goddamn rebels. Are they going to mobile? Oh god. Okay, so at least we'll be able to fight them right here then. That's nice. Oh, Shawnee has become self-sustaining. Excellent. Meaning that it got folded into Japanica. Oh, good. Um, let's, where are we going to go now? I don't know. 
maybe up here to Dakota. I don't really feel like fighting over this shit with Russia. Maybe it's a good idea though. If we took this one and this one, it would kind of cut them off. I don't know if that's gonna piss them off or not, but whatever. Let's send a let's send a guy there. Actually, wait, is this? No, it's not even. Uh, how's the climate here? I just want to check before we go. Climate is actually temperate. This is the last temperate one. This one is uh, actually Arctic, so that's probably why they're not trying to go colonize there. That's interesting. Well, let's go colonize this before they get hit. It's a good idea. Good thinking, me. I'm a genius, me. Yes, me. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully... How's our westernization? I haven't even looked. Looks like we're going to be done in 1610, which will be very nice. Sadly, our admin tech has, you know, obviously since we lost 100 points randomly, uh, we, we clearly need more. So, yes. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Spray and pray out.